Hi, I'm Alden Mills, and I want to talk to you today about the three essential actions of leading in uncertainty. This is a video that can help anyone, whether you're leading in a household, you're leading in a community, you're leading in an organization. Right now, these times call for folks to step up and take these actions and put them to work. Here's a little background on myself. I've written a couple of books called Be Unstoppable and Unstoppable Teams about how to lead yourself and how to build unstoppable teams. I've built companies and one of the companies became an Inc. 500 fastest growing consumer products company. Perhaps you've seen it with the perfect push-up. Vented over 40 different products and I'm a three-time Navy SEAL platoon commander. Two out of my three SEAL platoons I spent in what I call an active quarantine. Something like this in these nuclear ballistic submarines leading little classified combat mini submersibles. So I know a couple of things about dealing with uncertainty and I want to share with you these three actions. These three actions build upon each other and they'll help you. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to start to use a little prop. I'm going to write it out on the board and this prop I'm going to use starts with a life ring. You see when you go out to sea every boat's has a life ring. Life rings get put to work when uncertainty shows up. So I hope you enjoy this. Take these actions, put them to work, whether it's in your house or your organization, and together we'll go be unstoppable. The first essential action to leading in uncertainty is creating safety. Now, I'm gonna walk you through a little storyboard here so it will be easier for you to remember it and to pass it along to your teammates. Here's how I want you to think of this. Let's say we're cruising along in a big cruise ship, right? And our cruise ship is called SS Certainty. And here we all are, we know our course, we're cruising along, and everybody knows what to expect from one day to the next, right? And then all of a sudden, what happens? Out of nowhere, this seemingly small obstacle called an iceberg, which has a huge bottom to it, sinks our SS certainty. And our iceberg is on certainty and what ends up happening is a very disruptive break in our routine people end up jumping off into the water because their certainty ship has sunk right and so now we've got all these people bobbing in the water and what are they thinking about when they're bobbing in the water they're thinking about themselves. The water's cold. There are sharks in the water. They're only thinking about self-preservation. So then you're going to come along as a leader, and this is what leaders must do during these uncertain times. You're going to throw them. Now I'm drawing what I showed you earlier. I'm drawing one of these. A life ring, right? And life rings, and the way they're built, just like this one right here, has four grab handles on it because it can support more than one person actually. But here's the importance of the life ring that a leader must throw. There are four key things that this life ring has. The first is the health. Life ring is gonna be a health lifeline. And then we're talking about the basic needs of food and shelter. The third thing this lifeline is going to do is going to help with family. And the final piece is communication. That's the life ring that you're going to throw and bring to everybody in the water. So now they're all going to be holding on to their life ring. Until you establish an environment of safety, you can't move forward in times of crisis or uncertainty because everybody's first thing is thinking about themselves. But if you can bring with the four main quadrants of a life ring of safety, of health, 
of food and shelter, a family, of communication, and I'm not implying you need to build them a home, but you need to be aware that these are the things that are on their mind. And when you communicate with them, always be thinking first line of communication about the safety elements that they're thinking about. Because the whole goal here is to get folks first comfortable with their current situation, and then we're gonna get them to move from worrying about themselves to thinking about how to help others. The second essential action of leading in uncertainty is building structure. Once folks have gotten safety down and they're starting to feel comfortable and they can relax just a bit so we can get them out of what I call the three F's, the fight, the flight, or the freeze zone, we can now start to get them thinking about how they might be able to work together. And what we're gonna use in this one, this is my coiled rope right here. We're gonna use rope. And the reason we're gonna use rope is remember, now they're safe relatively, right? They're bobbing out in the ocean, but they're in their life rings. Here's another one and, you know, excuse my stick fingers, stick, but you get my point, right? We're going to use rope and what are we going to do with the rope? We're going to lash the life rings together. I know they kind of look like donuts here, but you get my point, right? And once we start lashing them together, which by the way, life rings can do that. What have we built? We built a raft. We built a raft and we've done that by building structure. Now the structure in this case, what I'm referring to is creating routine, engaging with folks, managing their distractions and their expectations, starting to get them to think about opportunity, making sure that they understand that we can all take a break here and then we keep them focused on moving forward. If you want to know more about all of those components, which I call remote, I've built out another video series talking about how to be unstoppable while working remotely. But for now, when I talk about building structure, it's about building a routine that brings everybody together. But once we get to the raft, the next piece of building structure is now going to get folks focused on two things. And those two things are how to help make sure people remain safe, but at the same time, they now start looking outward, outside the raft, for opportunities. Because over time, while you get your team to focus, and this would be our life jackets, our life rings underneath, right? Now we're looking for wood and we're turning that raft into a boat. And so now more people can get in board together, right? Because now they're all starting to feel more safe. And as they feel more safe, the leader will always have some folks focused on uncertainty and keeping people safe. And then we're going to get the other ones right here looking forward. And what are we going to be looking forward for? We're looking for opportunity. Now, in the third action, I'm going to define the opportunity and how we're going to set a course for this because we're really going to start to expand and make them even more powerful. The third essential action of leading in uncertainty is serving others. You see, when we start to shift our focus in serving others, something magical happens. We start shifting our focus from ourselves, being selfish, to thinking about others selfless. When that happens, fear dissipates. Doubt starts to drip away because everyone's now shifted their focus. You see, focus funnels your energy to take an action. And that's why we use structure. When we've got the structure after everyone's worried, no longer worried just about their safety, then we can step off and go from, remember our old little raft? Well, what's our raft end up turning into? A raft ends up turning into a boat that can be propelled. What can it be propelled with? Well, of course, oars, right? And to move these oars, now we can put multiple people 
on the oars at the same time. And that gives us purpose because now we're starting to get direction. Now, I'm not saying at this time that while we're serving others, we're still not serving the ones inside our team. We'll always keep a portion of our team focused on safety. But then as we get more confident in creating structure around safety, more and more people will be thinking about opportunity. Now the opportunities that we're looking for do two things. Serve people in the boat and serve people outside the boat. We can actually get more people on there. And how are we gonna do that? Over time, the structures that we create are gonna help us build an even larger boat of people that will still find the safety, but at the same time, they'll be creating new abilities for this boat to go further than we could before. Not just being manpower of an oar, but also creating sails. We've got new ways to propel ourselves because before we had this accident, we were just pretty reliant on our engine and doing the same thing again and again. Uncertainty throws that all out the window. We can't just rely on the old engine anymore, right? We've got to be creative and thinking of different ways to do that. So we'll have, a, we'll still have a team focused on safety, but now we'll have even more people looking at ways to serve others. You see, the first thing that you want to deal with when you think about serving others is literally serving without expectation. So we can have the ability to say, okay, well, we've still got ways that we can take care of ourselves with oars, but now we've got a sail. So now we've got more people looking forward. And now guess what happens? We've got a new boat, right? The life ring went to a raft, went to a small propelled boat, went to a larger ship. You know what I call that ship? I call it the unstoppable ship. Because now we've got more people that more adaptable, they're now even better connected because they've been through this struggle together. And I know it's hard to think of this right now. The struggle that we're in right now of these uncertain times, but these struggles will build strength. And this is a huge opportunity for all of us, all leaders out there. Look inward first, build a safe environment for everybody, then start creating structure that makes sure that we're maintaining safety inside, but looking for opportunity to serve others on the outside. And before you know it, that old ship of certainty that hit the iceberg is going to be a newer, stronger ship. It'll be different, but it will be stronger. It will be unstoppable. Okay, here's a brief summary of the three essential actions of leading in uncertainty. Those three actions are based on safety, structure, and service. And here's how it looks like for somebody's focus, because it is all about focus, right? Where they focus is where their energy goes and where an action actually takes place. So here's how their focus is. In the very beginning, when we get into a moment of crisis or uncertainty, it's just about their safety. And what was the element we used? I used a life ring, right? Leaders throw out life rings, and they throw out life rings around three, four things. Their health, food and shelter, family, and communication. But once we've got safety taken care of, people's focus can start to open up. And the way we get their focus to open up is by structure. And the structures that we put in place will be routines and teams focused on two different things. One, helping people stay safe because we have to keep taking care of people's needs, but at the same time, they'll start to relax, fear will start to dissipate a bit, and they'll start to be thinking about opportunities. Now, what's the opportunity that we really wanna get people focused on in times of need? serving others, it's service. That was what will really expand our focus, not just on our internal teams, but our external ones as well, right? And so when we get to service and serving others, that's where the magic happens. And what is the magic I'm referring to? It's moving from a place of being selfish 
to selflessness. And when that happens, people don't worry about their current plight. They start thinking about ways to help others. And those are the greatest opportunities. If you'd like to learn more about it, come check me out at my website, alden-mills.com, where I talk about building unstoppable teams, unstoppable leadership, and how to be unstoppable. And in the meantime, know this is up to you. And when we team up together, we can do anything. Have a great day and go be unstoppable. I hope you found the three essential actions to leading in uncertainty helpful and you can put them to work right away. These are the times that we all need to step up and lead and we can all do it. So if you'd like to know more tips on how to lead yourself or your teams, come take a look at my website, alden-mills.com, where we'll talk about how to be unstoppable, how to create unstoppable leadership and build unstoppable teams. So in the meantime, go out there and create safety, build structure,